sticking with athletics, it is kickoff to fall practice for Razorback football. That's right. Our Drew Ammon is live on campus tonight to give us an update on how the first day of practice went. Drew? Hey, what's up? Yeah, alongside Alyssa Orange. I'm fired up. What about you? Yeah, we're excited. Again, it's a beautiful weather right now. The uh, overcast weather is really nice because I remember last year we were out here in the sun and we were sweating. So really excited to see what these guys have in store for us in day one here coming up at 630. She's got one more year on me, so she's good to go as far as Razorback <laughs> football camps are concerned. She's ready That's, for it at 615. Yeah. Grayson Gunter, let's talk about him, a tight end, a guy now in his retro junior season. This is somebody who they're really relying on because, you know, last year he had a bright spot there against mm -hmm. Tulsa on homecoming, a touchdown catch from Connor Nolan. That went for seven yards. And of course, he had two starts for the Razorbacks this past season, but, you know, he had that redshirt year. He's really banged up, but Barry Lunny Jr. is really, really excited about what Gunter could bring this season. Grayson's had his, clearly his best offseason. He's finally, he's finally turning into the guy that we thought he would be long term. Hey, listen, this is a guy that a lot of people don't know about, you know, that, um, I mean, this this guy, this guy can fly. Now he's 6'5", and he's he's finally now over the 245-pound threshold. You know he had two torn labrums, which is an incredible setback for anybody trying to develop upper body strength and gain weight. Let's talk about Chase Harrell now because a position switch for this guy this season. Yeah, he's joining that tight ends room, moving over after being a wide receiver last year, Drew. And Barry Lenny Jr. told us that after last year, they approached Harrell and asked him if, what he thought about the switch, and he bought in immediately, bulked up a little bit, now 250 after being 218 a year ago. But they say he still has that athleticism, still has that speed, working a little bit to continue that pass protection and rush, uh, run blocking that comes with the tight end position that you don't have to do as a <laughs> wide receiver. Uh, but he's going to be a talented guy and another guy to watch and Barry Lunny also wanted to make a point that a lot of people are going to talk about CJ O'Grady and a lot of people are going to talk about of course Hudson Henry coming in as a Henry at the tight end position and what he could bring to the table but don't forget about guys like Grayson Gunner don't forget about the Chase Harrells that are also in that room because they're going to really hopefully be able to contribute as well this year. Got to get that supporting cast Bob and Ashley you know yeah. we got it. In Big Trail Nation we always <laughs> have that army we bring to practice. That's right. What do we have seven cameras tonight? I, I think, think so. I think it's we've more got, like three. We've got all the angles covered. <laughs> Every corner of the field tonight. Right over here. We'll send it back to you. <laughs>